Last time on Gold in the East, Susanna Wilkerson was reunited with her twin sisters, Adeline and Scarlett. They try to help Susanna leave her life of crime. Meanwhile, the sheriff is determined to carry out the plan by himself. We join him on a dusty road. This plan's the best. It can't fail. I don't need her help. Mommy and Daddy always loved me the best. Just wait. I'll show that Susanna. Those pesky girls and that Diddy too. Diddy? Did you say Diddy? The problem solving sweetie? Yes, I did. She's so helpful. Why, just last week I got my line snagged and she came to my rescue. She pulled the hook right out of the wood and eat as you please. Like it wasn't even there, like it was stuck in butter. Dee Dee just grabbed it with two fingers and pulled it and came right out, just like that. She came in the lion and untangled, not even wrinkled. She rolled back up and I... Quit talking. Get out of here. I would, but uh, I might need Dee Dee's help again. And uh, she wouldn't know where to find me. If she can't find me, she can't help me. I, of course, I, uh, of course she's good at showing up where she's needed, but there, there is this whole baby left in the carriage thing and Dee Dee needed to figure out the crooks that were headed to Tarantula Peak and she showed up when she was needed and have you ever heard a thing like that? She sure is a sweetie. Give me that pole. No, 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 wait. That's my grandpappy's pole. Quiet down. Don't throw it in the... Oh, no. Get lost. Young kids these days, no respect for our elders or, or other people's property. They think they can just take something and throw it in the weeds. How did I get it out now, dick gummit? I don't take his stuff and throw it in the river. I don't say, hey sheriff, can I see that badge? I won't throw it in the river. No, no respect. That's the problem. I just, I'm just glad my grandpappy wasn't here to see this. What would he say? Now back to the plan, my beautiful plan. Meanwhile, Susanna and her sisters catch up on the last 10 years. Susanna tells them about the sheriff and his issues. Hey sis, you seem happy to see us, but the sheriff doesn't want anything to do with us. What's up with that? Seeing you brought up a lot of old memories. Ones he was trying to forget. Like what? When you were born, our parents gave you all of their attention. The sheriff was used to having lots of attention, so he was upset. So why weren't you upset? I never had our parents' love. They always doted on the sheriff. He was the oldest, the smartest, the handsomestest. That's not even a word. And it wasn't true either. But he is the fastest, the strongest, and the sneakiest. And he has no shortage of confidence, courage, and cunning. Speaking of sneaky, where did he go? Oh no, he must be going to carry out the plan. We have to stop him. Susanna, what's the first part of the plan? Where do we go? The bridge. Which one? There are so many. Snagged line bridge. Come on, let's go. Now a word from Dee Dee's problem solving help. If you need Dee Dee's help with a simple or complex problem, she'll be right there. Charges $2 per hour. Be sure to call Dee Dee's Problem Solving Help for any of your problems. Need a Dee Dee? She's a problem solving sweetie. Oh no, Dee Dee again. Dee Dee, I need your help. You see, I was trying to talk to the sheriff and he wanted me to stop talking. Can you believe that? No one's ever wanted me to stop talking before. I don't know why he would say that, but I mean, uh, it wasn't like I was saying anything I wasn't supposed to be said. I was just telling him about my day, and then you know, the worst part is... He Let me guess, you got your line stuck again. Got my line stuck again, and the fish wouldn't bite, and the weeds did. The weeds grabbed my hook and pulled it in, and I've ne never known weeds uh, were there before, but uh, uh, you see, uh, it wasn't my fault this time. I was just trying to be good, it's just that... That's the third time this week! It was the sheriff's fault! He threw it in the weeds and it got snagged up! That darn sheriff scared all my fish away! 
Those poor fish just trying to swim peacefully. They never hurt him. Why do you have to throw my pole in the water? I just don't understand. Why don't I just hold onto the pole a little bit? Uh, I just got that pole. It was a gift from my grandpappy. You see, it was passed down from my great great grandpappy to my grandpappy to my grandpappy, and now it's mine. And uh, I, I didn't help the scared fish. Don't worry. You'll get it back soon. See me in a week or two. And I'll keep it safe so it doesn't get snagged again. I don't know how you find it. It just showed up. I'll just find you. See you later. Meanwhile, world famous snake oil salesman Professor Jones comes down the path where the sheriff is beginning the plan. Hello there, sheriff. How nice to see you. Boy, do I have a deal for you. I don't need anything right now. Don't need anything. You always need something. I got snake oil, iguana juice, turtle shell grease, bug shine, horse oil, monkey oil, camel spit, ferret snot, sparkling hoof pouch. What else do you have? 30 types of snake oil. Fine. I'll take a bottle of iguana juice. Let me see. Snake oil, snake oil, snake oil, oiled snake. Yeah, well, I got snake oil. Fine. Bottle of snake oil, then. Um, I have cans. Okay, just give it to me. That will be ten dollars. Ten dollars? Never mind. Will you take it for five? Never. For a dollar? I wouldn't even give you a dime. Now leave me alone. Just a penny, please take it. Fine, if you'll stop talking. Okay, here. Whatever. Wait, you didn't pay- come back here! And now, a word from Monster Leaf Plant Food. Are your plants sick and tired? Are they brown and droopy? Wah, 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 wah. Well, not anymore with Monster Leaf Plant Food! It's stir a spoonful into some water and pour it over your plant. It's that easy! Instantly, your plants will grow monstrously big, enormous roots, longest roots. It all happens with Monster Leaf. Get it at any greenhouse, plant shop, or home improvement store. You will not regret it. Meanwhile, Dee Dee and the Wilkerson's continue their search for the sheriff. They encounter an old gardener. Oh, hello, dearies. Would you mind helping me plant these bulbs? Well, we were sort of headed to the bridge. Of course we'll help. What plants are we planting? Well, dearies, these ones. And these, and those, and those. Oh, and also these. That's so many. Yeah, that might take too long. We'd better get going. No, please help. How about I pay you? Some veggies, perhaps? Fine. Forty-three minutes later, the girls finally finished their task of planting Miss June Jones' 400 bulbs. Well, I can't thank you enough. Are you ready for some veggies? They're huge. Yes. Getting a sunburn all over my body needs to be worth something. All right. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Here, Dee Dee, a 15-pound tomato just for you, for being the most enthusiastic gardener. And here are some enormous vegetables for your friends. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed helping you, Mrs. June Jones. We did? Of course. It looks like she used monster leaf plant food. Have some carrots and cucumbers and a watermelon and some ginger snaps. We'd better get going. Thank you. We will make good use of these. No, thank you. The girls cross the bridge and see the sheriff about to set the plan in motion. Finally, everything's ready. Now time to set the plan in motion. Susanna, look! He has a flare gun. Look out! I have an idea. Come with me. Hurry. Let me help too. I need my revenge. Release the tomatoes! Suddenly, a whole crop of 15-pound tomatoes come barreling down the hill. The sheriff is knocked over by the giant food. His flare falls into the river and he watches, stunned, as his plan falls apart. Oh no, 15-pound tomatoes rolling down a hill. 
I've only seen this happen once before. It was at the Battle of Cantaloupe Ridge. Care to tell us what happened there, Sheriff? The tomatoes won. Those poor fellers didn't stand a chance. That's right! No, this can't be happening. I've come so far. Well, you just lost. No. Get him, girls, and throw him in the clink. There's a new sheriff in town. You'll never catch me. The sheriff runs down the path, followed by Dee Dee, the Wilkerson's, June Jones, and the professor. No! Stop, stop. sheriff! We have to stop him! Stop! The sheriff is about to escape, but he runs into a bearded stranger. Stop right there, Sheriff. Huh? Greasy Jim! Greasy Jim! Greasy Jim! Greasy Jim! Greasy Jim! Where has Greasy Jim been all this time? Will Susanna stay good? And why does that fisherman talk so much? We'll probably never know what happens next time on Gold in the East. Gold in the East, Episode 4, was written by the Hillsdale Middle School Drama Club. The play was narrated by Valerie Robinault. Dee Dee Jones was played by Sarah Llewellyn. Susanna Wilkerson was voiced by Cadence Henderson Snyder. Ben Lever played the sheriff. Dally Meek had the part of Adeline. Evelyn Woodley voiced Scarlet. Professor Jones was played by Danny Root. Taylor Root voiced the old fisherman. Nick Wright had the part of Greasy Jim. Mrs. June Jones was voiced by Olivia Burgess. Random People were done by random people. Landon Rain supplied the sound effects. And music selection and performances were by Logan Lee. We thank you for listening to Gold in the East, Episode 4.